Hi, this is Wen from Periodic Lab, and today I'm going to show you the best way to fold and organize your socks. This weekend, I happened to go to Target and found that they actually have a pretty decent selection of trendy pattern socks. And I went kind of crazy because a lot of them were about a dollar on sale to two dollars each to three, I think, for the knee highs and the pattern's actually quite cute and I thought this was a great opportunity to show you how to fold socks. Now I've been using this method of folding as of last year when it first kind of went viral all over and it's one of those things where I think it's only fair to share something once it's actually worked for you. I've been using it consistently for a year now so I just thought this would be the best way to show off basically shopping and really nice method with pretty socks. Efficiency, looking good and well tested through human use is really important. And for me to determine that this is what I'm gonna do pretty much for the rest of my sock life <laughs> or laundry life. It's insane to put so much thought into something so stupid, but honestly, when you open up your sock drawer and it just looks nice, is one less thing you like, that just bothers you throughout your day. The reason why you want to tuck it in is because when you have a row of socks, or a row of anything for that matter, particularly in your drawers, and you take just one piece out after everything is uniform, it kind of falls apart. You know, you take two out, it's fine, but when you take like more than three, your whole stack kind of falls apart and falls down. With this, it's kind of great because they at least stay folded and it is a good alternative to if you like balling up your socks because it keeps it together like a ball of socks. I am crazy. I like rainbow style. I like the grocery store experience of everything stacked neatly and nicely or a boutique experience. And this is such little effort. I timed myself. It literally takes two or three minutes if you have all your socks together. I mean, honestly, matching takes more time than anything. What I found also with this, like the only negative thing I could actually think of is that you could stretch out your ankles on your socks because you push that in there. But honestly, I think by putting on the sock itself, that will do more damage than you just putting your toes in, the toes of the socks in. Because if you notice, like for majority of these socks, like the toes are close to the same width as the ankle area. And the th great thing is this method works with various length of things. So here I have some booty socks. I have not tried it with the socks that you wear with flats. So I don't know how that well that works, but I have used it with knee highs, thigh highs, also leggings and tights, and also even some pants that are not jeans, because jeans can be a little too stiff, but like thinner material pants that are cotton based. It works really well because it stands up by itself it keeps that way, it's it's just easy. So when you put it into the drawers, what I do is I stack them next to each other, especially if you have all white socks. When you have all the same socks, I would stack them on top of each other at that point to maximize on space. Even if you do have a variety, stacking them on top of each other. So for instance, if you had a blue sock, you put a blue sock underneath it. I don't care for redundancy of if I need to find something to move something in order to find something different. The great thing is you can put it up thin side or fat side and still you get a good descriptor of what you need. I genuinely love to find the most efficient way and nice looking ways to do things. I like it to be easy. So if you like that, please follow me and subscribe. I'm hoping to do more organizing and DIY in general, whatever I'm interested in basically kind of videos, but it helps to know what people are actually interested in and actually find helpful. So please subscribe and like this video. Thank you.